So once you have your data, the uh, note number and the frequency, we're going to try to find a math model. Now, one thing we know is that every time we um, go up an octave, the frequency doubles. So that's going to tell us that our math model is going to be an exponential function with a base of 2. So to find that, we can't use our traditional methods. We're going to have to figure out something new. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy and I'm going to highlight the data. Now note, I did not highlight the titles. Just highlight the data, starting here and going to here. And then hit Copy. And then go to a tab that has Desmos running. Click in the blank cell here. And if you paste it, it'll actually paste it as a table. So here's X. That's the note number. And here's Y. That's the frequency. And my numbers are wrong because I don't want to give the answer away. I want you to do it with your numbers. But this is just for illustration purposes. Um, it actually zoomed to my data. If it doesn't zoom to your data, you can actually um, go over here to the toolbox and you can adjust X, the X and Y axis so you can see all your data nice and clearly. Okay? All right. Now, what I want to do is I want to find a function. So I'm going to write a function here. So my function is going to look like this. It's going to be Y equals some constant. So let me guess 300-ish times 2 to the power of and let's try 0.5x. So that's a good starting point. And what that does, it'll show you an exponential function here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to adjust this coefficient, the number in front of the 2, and you're going to adjust the number up here to see if you can get your line, this line here, to fit your data. Okay? So I'm actually going to click on this line, on this dot right here, and choose a dotted line since it's the math model. And uh, I can make it a little thinner so it's not quite so thick. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to then adjust this. So maybe I make this smaller and see what happens. I make it 200. Oh, look, it goes through almost there. So maybe 210. It goes through that point. That's good. Now we're going to adjust this coefficient up here in the exponent. So instead of 0.5, we try 0.6. Oops, that's curving too much. So I'll make it smaller, 0.4. Not enough. So I'll make it 0 0.3, 0 0.2. 0 0.1 is too small, so maybe I could do 0.15. Well, that's too big. So one, two, maybe one, two, five. There it is. I got it to fit. So what I found is that this exponential function right here, y equals 210 times 2 to the 0.125x, produces a function which matches my data as best I can. Okay. So I found a mathematical model. Now, we're not going to rewrite this. Um, on the y-axis, we have frequency. Instead of x, we would have the note number. But um, we can't change those variables or it won't graph it here, OK? So all you're going to do to finish this section up is you're going to make a screenshot of this entire screen. Please make sure I see your data table and your math model and your line. OK, I got to see the data points and the equation of the line. Um, and that's all we're going to do for that part. We'll talk about what this means later in class. But right now, I just want you to take a screenshot, and you're going to submit that screenshot for Part B. Okay? All right. Good luck.